as a researcher, we have a long time scale before we get the the sort of buzz of you know the paper being published. Even longer t time scale before we get the the actual impact, and we'll probably never know the people on whom we've made an impact. At least by by being involved with with PPI groups throughout the course, we get we get a, a bit of that positive feedback as to what the benefit might be, um, and and for me that's very uh, it, it raises my enthusiasm um, to to battle the challenges of getting research funding. You know, if the study's well designed, which it should be, if you've got patients and public involved, because they should ask they'll ask elephant in the room questions and mean that your design will be better but then it will go through ethics more easily so there's a benefit there it's not the reason for doing it but it's a side benefit i think i was always kind of interested in you know in the sort of i guess a power balance really that i was often going to talk to people about really sensitive issues you know they're about their health about how it affects them personally and everything else and actually sometimes i i personally was kind of questioning is this right sometimes and I love you know just working within the system as it was sufficient obviously they're giving willingly but actually could they have more of a say in what I was asking and mm -hmm. and that sort of thing so mm -hmm. I think that's kind of why I did. With the the involvement of patients you change the way you, you express your questions the way you frame it um, you put things into context into real stories um, you, you see whether what you're doing has any impact in the mind of people who lived through the turmoil of uh, having a disease or having cared for somebody with a severe disease. Well, as I said, the incentive may be that you're more likely to get a grant, a grant, successful grant, if you have that as a very active part of it, which is more or less required. But, uh, but obviously the incentive would be, the main incentive would be that you've got a, a meaningful study which is going to get the truth of a condition and it's going to have the best possible treatment for patients. I guess it gives you a sense of confidence that if you, in terms of interpretation of material and also um, you know, writing up an information sheet or a plain English abstract or something, it is your, your people there to check it out with. And you think, okay, they may not have changed many words, they may just have said it's fine, it reads well, but that's, that's a useful thing, that's an endorsement. I think it's this issue of transparency and the issue of where well, it's meant to be for the public so they should be involved um, and I do feel the more I've got involved in it I feel like it's not been given a fair crack of the whip actually so partly I think like you know before we debunk it as we claim we will then we need to at least do it properly. <laughs> the most amazing impact is seeing, seeing how um, hearing some of our parents talk about their experience of being involved with us and uh, that's very moving really because they've often been quite disempowered through becoming parents of disabled children and had significant struggles and um, hearing them talk in presentations or even on TV recently you know about how being involved in research has really helped give them their self-confidence and being you know uh, feeling like they make a difference to uh, for the benefit of other families and you know it's, it's, it's amazing. <laughs>